Hello! Welcome to the video how to configure Salesforce for automatic user provisioning with Microsoft Azure Active Directory. The goal of this video is to show you the steps required to perform in Salesforce and Azure AD to automatically provision and deprovision user accounts. Note, before configuring user provisioning service, I recommend you to watch our video how to configure single sign-on with Microsoft Azure Active Directory as these two features complement each other and it will also help you to have more understanding of a part of the configuration already made. So let's get started. Log into Microsoft Azure Portal. In this section, select the corresponding directory. In my case, it is my BMC company. Then, expand the menu option and select Azure Active Directory. In my directory, I create these three test users in order to import it to Salesforce. Azure uses a concept called assignments to determine which user should receive access to an application. In this first step, let's decide which users or groups in Azure AD needs access to your Salesforce app. So going back to my company directory, select Enterprise Application. In my case, I already configured Salesforce for single sign-on. If you don't have it, you will need to click on the new application and search for Salesforce in the application gallery. I'm going to click on it and then go to Users and Groups. Click on the Add User button. Click on the Users option. Select the corresponding user and click on Select. When assigning a user to Salesforce, you must select a valid user role. This app imports profiles from Salesforce as part of the provisioning process. Please note that the profiles that get imported from Salesforce appear as roles in Azure AD. I select Service Desk System Administrator and select. Click on Assign. And I continue the same steps for the other two users. Now, let's go to the provisioning option. As I already configured this process, I'm going to click on Edit Provisioning. In the provisioning mode, select Automatic. Expand the Admin Credentials section, and in the Admin Username Textbox, type a Salesforce account name that has the System Administrator profile in Salesforce.com. Provide the admin password, the secret token. If you don't know how to get your security token, you can go back to Salesforce, click on your profile picture, and select Settings. Select Reset my security token, and click on the Reset security token button. You will receive an email to the email address tied to your Salesforce admin account. Once you receive it, paste it here. Turn on URL, it is optional. This URL uses the format of your My Domain. Once you provide this information, validate the same by clicking on Test Connection button. As you notice, the supply credentials are authorized to enable provisioning. Scroll down a little bit. In the Notification Email field, enter the email address of a person or group who should receive provisioning error notifications and mark these checkbots. Then, save the changes. Under Mapping section, select Synchronize Azure Active Directory Users to Salesforce. Here, you can review the user attributes that are synchronized from Azure AD to Salesforce. Note that the attributes selected as matching properties are used to match the user accounts in Salesforce for update operations. I'm leaving the default mappings and select Yes on the Enable section. Save the changes. Finally, on the provision status, move the option to On, and in Scope, select Sync Only Assign Users and Group. There's another available option, which is Sync All Users and Group. In my case, I'm going to assign only these three users that I'm using for testing purposes. Save the changes. Close this window. Once I save the changes, the provisioning feature runs successfully. Let's confirm the same in Salesforce. Go to Setup. In the Quick Find box, type Users. And there you go. As you can see, the three users were created in Salesforce site as we provide them access to the Salesforce application. Remember, if you later remove the access of any of these users on the Users and Groups option, this will sync the permissions in Salesforce and the user will be inactive. 
This concludes the video, how to configure Salesforce for automatic user provisioning with Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Thank you for watching.